Glam family, welcome back to my channel. I'm CJ Glam and I'm here to bring you part one of my collection series. Now I was trying to figure out how do I want to do this? Do I want to show y'all uh, my fragrance in my cabinets? But unfortunately, it's too many fragrances in there and it was too compact. So I decided to bring it here to my desk. Now this is going to be four, five, maybe even six parts. Uh to uh, do this here fragrance collection but I decided to start off with the fragrance that I have in my collection that I have the most of and uh, so this is the first Montal fragrance that I've collected from this niche brand Montal and Mansara now this one here is uh, Intense Cafe gorgeous coffee scent Hey, this is definitely a pick-me-up type of fragrance. And before I get started, I'm not going to go all off into fragrance notes and descriptions because I have too many fragrances that I need to go through. Um, but if there's anything that you uh, want to uh, me to review in particular, just leave that in the comment section. But uh, so let's get on started with this here. So the first one is, again, Intense Cafe. Love this one here. Y'all, this next Montal, and this is the, I only have two Montals in my collection, but I will be adding more. But this Honey Oud, oh my God, y'all. The longevity, the sillage, the projection, oh my God, this is wonderful. This Oud with some sprinkles of honey, oh my God, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous scented fragrance. I love this here. And happy to have this in my collection. Now I had to jump right over uh, Montal and go to Mansara, the sister uh, fragrance uh, collection. Oh Lord. Now this is the first one that I purchased from Mansara. This Aoud exclusive. Oh God, this is nice. This reminds me of the Lancome uh, Oud Ambrosi. This is a beast mode fragrance. The majority of my Manseras are beast mode, but hey, this one here is lovely. And I I normally spray my clothes, y'all. I may give a couple of spritz on my skin now, but these here fragrances here, to me, they live up to their name. Now, I do have a few of them because I have, uh, I did some, you know, background investigation on these here fragrances before I purchased them. And a lot of people talk about, you know, when they spray Mansara, you get that synthetic note. I have not smelled that synthetic note until I put on one of them. And it does have a little synthetic, you know, not so authentic scent to it. But baby, let me tell you, when it started to unfold she's doing her thing she really is and the longevity the siage the projection ain't nothing fake about that hey once you just get over that little initial note and i have a few fragrances in here i have some that you know got that stank stank scent to it but baby once she dry down <clears throat> she is divine honey so moving right along instant crush y'all <laughs> Ooh, if y'all don't have nothing by Mansara, please pick up Instant Crush. This The light is drowning it out. Let's see. Here we go. Instant Crush is a gorgeous... You look, look at that bottle. That gold ombre. Look, I love it. This is a powerhouse, y'all. This is a powerhouse. I don't want to be... Uh, elaborating on these fragrances too much because i have a lot of fragrances i need to get through but honey when i say this is a, a high stepper yes hey this is majorette type high stepper no 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 drum major honey drum major moving on we have black vanilla another one and i'm not gonna i keep saying i'm not gonna elaborate but y'all these here are some fantastic fragrances Oh my God, you'd only need a spritz or two. This stuff is good. Good, y'all. This is some good stuff. Moving on, moving on. What can I say? For you vanilla lovers out there, 
Velvet Vanilla would be your niche. Yes. Gorgeous, creamy, vanilla, soft. Oh my God, y'all. What can I say about these fragrances? Lord have mercy. Round. Powerhouse, powerhouse, powerhouse. Jordan in exclusive. Man. Now this one here, y'all, I got to talk about this one. When I say leaves a trail, honey, dogs, and I'm talking about it in a good way, would be following you. This one here, I wore this to work one time, y'all. I was in uh training. Hey, I had been in the classroom for about a good 20 minutes. One of the supervisors came in and said, is that smell coming out of here? And I'm like, uh, well, is it a good smell or bad smell? She said, and I'm going to take this in a good way, honey, because I don't do nothing but good stuff. She said, well, it's, it smells very sweet, but seemed like somebody dropped the bottle. That's just how potent this bad boy is. Yes, honey. Jardin Exclusive is top notch, honey. This is top shelf type stuff here. Good. I am so glad that I blind bought this here. And the way I do it, you know, I read the notes and all that. Interesting notes. But, you know, I like a lot of different notes. But, honey, when I say this one here, whoo, this is the Pied Piper right here. That's what I'm going to say. This is the Pied Piper because, baby, the trail is there. This one here comes in and, hey, it don't even, this here fragrance don't even have to say I'm Jardin exclusive. You know who she is. Moving right along. Oud S. Oud S. Still good. Another good Oud fragrances. Y'all know when I fell in love with Oud, I just fell in love with Oud. I went over here. And I'm like that with everything. You would think of, you would think that being that I'm more older or more seasoned, you know, I would stop, you know, uh, and I'm not a completionist. Don't get me wrong, I'm not. But honey, these fragrances here, your girl loves to smell good. Trust and believe. She loves to smell good. Day and night and all of in between. But anyway, moving right on, right along. Old Black Candy. Hey, I was hesitant to get this here because of the licorice, and I do not like black licorice. Now, I can tolerate the strawberry one, but black licorice, no. And with this one here, this actually smells just like a bunch of different candies. And as it starts to dry down, I can pick up that subtle licorice note, but it's not too bad. So I'm glad I went on and got this one here. And y'all, it's a few more, probably by the time y'all actually see this video, I probably done got about seven or eight more bottles because it's still a lot that's on my wish list that uh, that I wanted uh, to go on and complete. But honey, I am so glad. I'm so happy with the ones I have thus far. So moving right along. Vanilla exclusive. Another good vanilla scent. Very nice, very nice. And y'all, I'm going to have to stop doing all this talking because I'm almost nine minutes into this video and I'm not even halfway through. So let me shut my mouth and just go on and show y'all what I got. Rose Oud and Musk. Now this one here has to me like an aldehyde scent. It has a more vintage scent, but it's still a beautiful scent. Just what the name says, Holidays. This is Vacation in a Bottle. Yes, honey. It's that good, expensive, you know, folks like us, you know, would know that uh, really elegant, you know, sunscreen or a bathing lotion. You know, that stuff that hey, you put on your skin and you think it's a fragrance. That's what this smell like. Musky Garden. Very nice scent. And I just love the little uh, flower applique right here. Gorgeous wild cherry. If you love a cherry bomb, this is the fragrance for you. Coco Vanille, beautiful. Chaco Violet, gorgeous. Exceptionally beautiful chocolate. I could smell the chocolate in this here 
fragrance as I speak. Wild leather. If you love leathery notes, this would be the fragrance for you. Longevity, exceptional. Black Intensive Oud. Let me bring this up. I don't think you can see the black on there. There we go. Another gorgeous one. And I think this is the last of men my Mancera. Like I said, uh, by the time you see this in video, I may have several more because I had like, I think, eight more on my wish list that I wanted to put in my collection. I love this brand, y'all. Hey, I love it. So moving right along, because I just want to keep this here at 30 minutes, but I may be going over. Okay, we have my two Laura Merciers, the Verbena and the Old Gourmand Ambre Vanille. Very nice. Uh, one of my co-workers, hey, he went on and ordered his wife this year. He said, that smells so good on me. Girl, what you got on? And I had to send him a picture, so he went and bought his wife some. And there's another fragrance, my, um, what, what is that that he went and picked up from his wife? Uh, the Libre Intense. Uh, Y'all, let me tell you, honey, let me tell you, these are some Pied Piper type fragrances. Moving right along. Okay, this is my only Aramis uh, fragrance, and this is, I know it's a calligraphy. Uh, what is this? Perfume Calligraphy Chiffon. Right there. Yeah, another one. This is a gorgeous scent, too. Moving them right along. Self titled Hannah Monet. Hannah. So, so. Mac Creme de Nude. Bora Bora. Bora Bora Exotic. Burberry Blush. Burberry Black. David Yerman Exotic Essence. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this, but I think it's itinine. But this is private uh, number women. women. Let me see. And this is the little. Yeah, let's see. Antonin Agner. My sister used to wear this back in the day and I loved it. I couldn't afford it at the time. So, hey, now she's in my collection and I can afford her. Philosophy Live Joyously. I messed that up joyously. Yeah. Anna Sue Romantica. Yop Laban. Y'all, this is a good one. This is a cheapie, but this is a darn good one. Yes, you definitely need this in your life. Hey, that um vanilla amber creamy uh scent in here. Gorgeous. Another cheapie that I found in Marshall's of TJ Maxx Duval, France, uh, by Michael Germain, a German. Gorgeous scent. This is another one that I tried to find some research on, couldn't. But Lovely Life, this is a, a TJ Maxx $12.99 uh, bargain find. But honey, this smells real good. Wild Fox. Another gorgeous, and I love the bottle. That is just so exquisite. I love it. Love the detailing. How they cut all off into that bottle. Gorgeous. A crab tree in Evelyn. This is what? Rose water and pink uh peppercorns. You can see it now. This is a good one as well. Another crab tree in Evelyn. This is pear and pink. Magnolia, see if you can see that. Hopefully, you can see it. Burberry Brit Rhythm, Burberry London. Now, this is actually the first fragrance that I ever bought at a uh, discount store, and this was at TJ Maxx. Burberry Body, Versace Red Jeans Woman. If we put that there. Now, this is my first fragrance net purchase, and this is a tester bottle. And I just choose, I, I prefer not to do testers because I want my, my caps. But Versace Yellow Diamond Intense. And hey, this is intense. I love this here. But yeah. 
It don't seem like I used much of it, but I have. Lovely fragrance. Versace Woman. This is a gorgeous fragrance here. Lovely fragrance. But yeah, this is a beautiful scent. Love it. Versace the Dreamer. This is a male fragrance, but hey, it's unisex to me because I love the way this here fragrance smells on my skin. Beautiful. Versace Versants. I actually purchased this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls one of the two. Well, uh, at one of my uh, previous little side jobs, I won a, I think a $25 or $30 gift certificate and I went and purchased this here for Big Mama, Big Mama, Big Mama, Versace Bright Crystal. This was my most sold fragrance when I was uh, the fragrance champion at uh, Alta. Love this here, so I had to have her in a Big Mama bottle. Yes, I love her. Gorgeous. Barely used it, but I love her because I know how she smells on me. Okay, this is the last of my Versace, and this is Versace Eros. And I was actually at 16 minutes, so if I can push it to uh, a good 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to do that. Uh, because I had technical difficulties, I did go to another shelf, so I've added some more perfumes, you know, to give this a kind of even, you know, uh, time allotment. Okay, I have this Enrico G. Oud Privé. This is a nice smelling uh, unisex oud as well. We have Roberto Cavalli Florence. Another beautiful scent. We have Just by Roberto Cavalli. This is the Ede Parfum. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, but this is the skin scent. I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but Taurus. This is the, uh, what? Floral, floral what? Floral scent? Let me see, what is this? Floral, floral touch. Another nice scent. Lavin Oxygen, y'all. <laughs> hey. This is a divine scent. I love it. I may even uh put this on today, but this is a gorgeous scent. Love this and love that view that view <laughs> that beautiful uh deep blue sea fluid that's in there. This Marshall Field signature in citrus. Marshall Field signature in Oriental. Lovely. I'm starting to really like Oriental scents as well. This Marshall Field Signature scent in floral, beautiful. Self-titled fragrance, Michonne. This is a gorgeous, fruity type scent. Love this. Now we're getting ready to go to the Oscars, honey. That is Oscar de la Renta in Extraordinary beautiful fragrance honey this is a divine a gorgeous a phenomenal fragrance by oscar de la renta oscar de la renta patel this is extraordinary now i haven't really worn this one here and this has been in my collection for a long time a long long time let me spray her on it. I know she's floral scented. I do know that. Let me see how she smells. Yes, but it's like bursting. Okay, what? That's is that jasmine? Oh man, yeah, this is nice. I may need to put this one on today since I haven't worn it yet. But this has been in my collection for a while now. So moving right along with the Oscars. Extrusion by Asca de la Renta, another fine vintage fragrance. Jess Oscar, another great fragrance. Velopti, I hope I pronounced that right, but y'all, I wore this a lot in my early 20s. In my 20s, mid-20s, yes, I wore this a lot. Brought back some memories now. <laughs> Live in Love by Oscar de la Renta. 
Now, have y'all tried the other uh, flankers in this here line? You know, I don't want to get too many. I really don't need any more. But uh, I did like the uh, fragrance notes that were in this one here. And I know I would at least once. I just can't remember. And I don't feel like spraying um, because I need to get, move on. But um, if you've tried the other ones in this comment, please uh, leave me a comment and give me a, you know, a little hint of how it smells because I may end up enjoying it because I know they have the, like, the light blue label, the pink, and I think they have a purple, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, live in love. Love this. Dun, 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 dun. And the award goes to Miss, is that a spirit? the oscar now one of my scent sisters or two of my scent sisters actually recommended this here and they were not lying this is a gorgeous elegant fragrance this is so beautiful i definitely need to keep her in my collection love it yes honey judith lieber night yes honey spicy all night long all night long. White linen, another gorgeous vintage fragrance. Beautiful. Now, Trezor. Now, this is a fragrance from back in the day as well. My sister, because she had no children, so she can afford it. So, but I used to put a little spritz or two here and there, and I love this here fragrance. I actually worn this here when I was working at Alta. I had sold a lot of uh, Lancome products, so I had a choice to, you know, choose this one or La Bia Belle, even though I love La Bia Belle because, you know, it just came out, but everyone had it. And so I just uh, went back to old school day, you know, Trezor. A lot, and I see a lot of people really don't like Trezor, but I love it. I love it. Definitely love the design, the aesthetics of the bottle. Beautiful scent on me. La Via Belle Unrolls. Now, I purchased this one here because I have a lot of La Via Belle, you know, samples when I was working at Ulta Roller Balls. Uh, so I don't have a full bottle of La Via Belle in my collection, but I know I need to put one in there so i did uh, venture off and i see that they have another one i think it's intense if i'm not mistaken uh but i've only worn this once y'all mm, what's up with that i have no idea but yeah i've only worn her once so moving right along the queen of the jungle honey beast mode lancome oud ambrose i hope that i'm pronouncing it right but if i'm not hey I can tell you, honey, be smooth, be smooth. Yes, honey, be smooth. I would love to uh, purchase the other ones that's in the collection. But again, this is be smooth. This is lovely. I actually found this here at TJ Maxx for 109 That was a steal, I do believe. But I love this here. And this is really going to conclude part one of my fragrance collection series uh i hope you enjoyed this here video please give it a thumbs up please comment please share i would love to communicate with you on my part one of my fragrance collection to all of my lovely dear supporters thank you so very much for this wonderful journey that uh, you uh, have given me. I really appreciate all of my ride or dies that's, you know, been there for every video and you know who you are. I love you to the core. Uh, so, until the next video, smooch as dears. Bye-bye.